In this video tutorial for Grand Prix Race Manager, we will cover creating manual race schedules, importing custom schedules and exporting schedules. This video only applies to the pro version of the software. Manual schedules are handy if you want to build a custom schedule, do ad hoc racing, or even to edit an existing schedule. With ad hoc racing, you can actually start running heats before all of your racers have checked in. This is also how you can add heats for any racer that you missed putting on the schedule or had arrived late. However, adding heats to an existing schedule only works if you are using timed scoring. To create a manual schedule, select the race group on the left. Select the manual option on the right. Then click on the schedule button. This opens up the manual heat screen. The manual scheduler will give you a list of the available racers. These are racers that have passed inspection for that group. It also shows how many heats those racers are already scheduled for and that is broken down by lane. You can add a racer to this heat in one of three ways. One way is to type the vehicle number for a racer into the lane box and press the tab key. The second way is to select a racer from the list and use the left arrow to move that racer to the first empty lane. The third way is to double click on a racer from the list to move that racer to the first empty lane. To remove a racer from the heat, click on the racer in the lane assignments and then use the right arrow button. If you want to change the lane for a racer, click on the racer and then use the up or down button as needed. If a lane is to be empty, you can leave the lane box empty. Before you save the heat, you do have the option to rotate these racers through each of the track lanes. To do so, check the Generate a set of lane rotation heats box. If that box is not checked, only a single heat will be added to the schedule. To save this heat or a set of lane rotation heats as the case may be, click on the Save button. Once saved, you can see that the total number of heats on the upper right corner has increased. If you need to edit a heat, you can cycle through the heats in this schedule with the plus or minus buttons or you can type the heat number into the box and press the enter key. Make the changes that you need and then click on the save button. To delete a heat, first select the desired heat. Then click on the delete heat button. You will then need to confirm the deletion. If you need to create additional heats, click on the add heat button. For help on the manual scheduler, click on the help button. Click on the clothes button when you are all done. Note, the other place that you can access the manual scheduler is from the racing screen. You can also use the manual scheduler to edit an existing schedule, even if it was created using one of the other schedulers. Select the race group from the left, then select manual from the right and click on the schedule button. Be careful in making changes to a current schedule, as that can throw off the number of times that each racer runs down the track lanes, as well as affect the opponent mix. That's the basics of using the manual scheduler to build a schedule or edit an existing one. The other way to create a custom schedule is to import one. You can import from a CSV file or a tab or comma delimited text file. The software does come with some sample schedule files, so you can see the format of the data. You can access these files using the Sample Files button on the Overview tab. Let's go back to the Schedules tab. To import a schedule, first select the race group on the left. Then click on the Import button on the right. That opens up the Import Data Wizard. Select the type of file to import from. I'm going to go ahead and import a CSV file. Click on the File button to select the file. Select your file and click on the Open button. Then click on the Next button. Now you will see a preview of the data in that file. Note, the numbers listed in the lane columns can match up with your vehicle numbers, but they don't have to. For example, if you have 20 racers, you can use numbers 1 through 20 to represent those vehicles. When the software imports the schedule, it will associate a vehicle to each of those placeholder numbers. With placeholder numbers in your import files, you can create a whole set of generic schedule files, each with a different number of vehicles. 
then after you've checked in racers, import the schedule with the corresponding number of vehicles. In the data preview, if the first row of the import data contains column titles, check the first row contains column titles box. If the data is not showing up in the correct column, click on the change mappings button. Here each data field is listed along with the import column from the file that it is currently mapped to. You can change the mapping for a field by clicking on the import column box for that field and then select the proper column from the list. The last column will show some sample data from your file to help you verify that the data fields are mapped correctly to the columns of your file. Once the mappings are correct, click on the Save button. My mappings were fine, so I will just cancel out of this screen. After changing mappings, look over the preview data and verify that everything is showing up under the correct column title. If everything is OK, click on the Next button. Then click on the Import button. If there were any problems with the data, the wizard would list the errors here. For this file there were no errors, and it lets you know how many records were imported. Click on the Finish button to complete the process. Here you can see the schedule that was imported. You can add to, edit, or delete heats from this schedule, as we discussed previously. Lastly, on this tab there is an export feature. You can export the currently displayed schedule using the export button. You may want to use one of the built-in schedulers to create a schedule that you can then customize and import at a later date. This completes our videos for Step 8 Create Race Schedules. For more information on race schedules, please refer to the software's help file. Stay tuned for our video for Step 9, where we will cover running the race.